Um, today we're going to be taking a look at magazines 30 and 31 and they are uh, magazine 30 is Ultron and magazine 31 is the well not the claw but claw okay so here are your magazines uh, here is the Ultron cover and here is claws cover and here are the two figures here in the box. So what I'll do, we'll start with uh, Ultron and we'll get him out of the box and take a closer look. So guys, here is Ultron, um, looking awesome. Uh, let's take a closer look at the head first. So as you can see, we have uh, red paint, red orange paint for the, the eyes. And then inside the mouth, we have the same color and the rest of his head sculpt is painted in this silver colour kind of a silver metallic colour so it's pretty straightforward really um, the sculpting looks really good you've got this kind of metal armour sculpting here around the neck obviously all of his body is made of this metal armour because if we move down he remains in this silver metallic colour sculpt in there looking really good on the back kind of this metallic suit which is sculpted really really well as you can see he has the orange red painting there on the hands Moving down, the armour looks fantastic. As you can see there on the legs, right down to the feet. So the paint job is simplistic, but the sculpt is excellent. And on the bottom we've got the uh, felt padding once again. Ultron issue 30. So this guy looks awesome, you know, it's a like I said it's a fairly simple paint job but the sculpt is fantastic and the effect and the figure look absolutely brilliant. So moving on to the magazine. So Ultron is one of the deadliest enemies in the, the Avengers have ever faced. A living machine with a hatred of humankind, Ultron has proven to be an unstoppable force of destruction and claimed countless lives since he was first created by Hank Pym. Uh, the sculpt reflects Ultron's inhumanity and its raw and savage robotic power. Now see Ultron is going to be in the upcoming Avengers film that will be out later this year as well. So we've got uh, stories um, relating to Ultron, where he has appeared in the comics. And then we have him fighting the Vision. So just your usual kind of background to the character here to help you understand what Ultron is, what he's all about. We've got this poster in the middle with him fighting with Captain America and a few other heroes, Iron Man included. Then we've got some of the tales that he has starred in in the magazines. Age of Ultron, of course, is uh, the one that's being made into the next Avengers movie. Um, a little <coughs> explanation of his powers. Oh, skip the page there. And as we see, Ultron is a black rook, so he will sit in the corners there on our chessboard for the black team. And then finally on the back we've got the preview to the next character who we're going to take a look at now and that is Claw. Okay guys so here is Claw. As you can see he has a massive claw on his arm there uh, which is uh, painted in this silver metallic colour and it has kind of a uh, red bit poking out of the middle there. Looking at the face We've got flesh tone, uh, pure white eyes, and then we've got this red, black, and purple 
suit that Claw wears. So yeah. Paint does overlap slightly on the face, but the sculpt of the face looks really cool. And I think the paint's turned out pretty well, apart from maybe on this stripe here. Moving down on the chest, we've got good sculpting, and we have purple gloves, and the purple theme continues around the whole suit. Again, good muscle definition on the back, making them look really strong. We have a purple belt and then the uh, red continues down into the legs where we continue with the mu muscle definition to show his power. And then we have purple boots uh, with black trims. And uh, Claw is a black paw and has the felt padding on the bottom. So. I don't really know much about Claw, but he does look pretty cool. The figure's turned out well. And if we just put him next to Ultron, uh, we can see the two there stood together. So we're just going to take a look at Claw's magazine. So let's find out about Claw. So Ulysses Claw has a body made entirely of sound. His powers have enabled him to take on the Fantastic Four all by himself and have made him a vital member of such supervillain teams as the Masters of Evil and the Frightful Four. Like a pawn though, he has often found himself working for others, more powerful players. And there we go. Okay, let's uh, take a quick skim through. So I'll definitely be reading uh, this one because I don't really know much about Claw. Um, we've just got the usual stories, uh, comic book stories that he's starred in, and how he's uh, and who he's combated in his battles. Um, we've got a poster here in the middle, as you can see there. And we've got a little explanation of his powers. There he is fighting She-Hulk. So, uh, here's a black pawn. And he brings us to uh, the end of uh, issue 31. And we have one more character to collect to complete the set now. That will be uh, Molecule Man. And he will come in next month's shipment with the first two, ship with the first two shipments of the next chess set, which is the X-Men set. Uh, where we receive Archangel and Storm. Archangel, I believe, is a free uh, magazine, so we'll actually receive three characters in March for the price of two. So there we look forward to seeing Molecule Man. Just to finish off, here are our two men of today. So yeah, um, we've got one more to go. Um, once I've reviewed Molecule, reviewed Molecule Man, I'll be reviewing the whole set and taking a look at the set put together, which I can pretty much say for sure is going to look absolutely awesome. Uh, by that point, we should also have the next uh, special edition, which is obviously Thanos and Star-Lord, which will be out later this month. There we go, there is Ultron and Claw, magazines 30 and 31. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please do subscribe. Uh, I do regular videos on the Marvel Chess Collection. Um, so yeah, my name's Brad, have a good day, see you later.